Build discipline using the things you're already doing. As I mentioned in the introduction of this training, what makes this training different is that you're going to choose to build discipline doing the things that you're already doing. You're not going to be assuming weird yoga poses. You're not going to adopt exotic meditation or mindfulness practices. You're not going to be doing any of that. Instead, you're just going to look at what you currently do and build discipline doing those things. This may seem small. In many cases, they may even seem trivial. However, just as small streams combine to produce big rivers, all these small tasks, when practiced routinely and mindfully pursued, can lead to increasing levels of personal discipline over time. Meet deadlines. If you work, chances are you are dealing with deadlines already. There's also a high likelihood that you probably have blown through a deadline or two in your career. You can build discipline by making it a point to meet deadlines every single time. I understand this can seem like a tall order right now. However, the more you commit to this, and the more you achieve it, the easier it becomes. You just have to consciously commit to doing it and understand what's at stake. It's not just a matter of getting stuff done by a certain point in time so your boss would be happy. Instead, it's all about practicing discipline in a very practical way that you can repeat over and over again. Simply commit to meeting them more often and make it a point to put in the effort to meet your deadlines each and every time. I understand this is probably not going to happen the first time you do it. That's okay. However, the more you try, the easier it becomes until, eventually, you don't even notice because it's become a part of your routine. Put in the work. I know this seems kind of obvious. After all, if you have a job, it is easy for you to automatically think that you're already working. What if I told you that typical employees' eight hours can actually be condensed into one productive hour of work? I know, it's quite shocking, but it's absolutely true. Just pay attention to what you yourself are personally doing. Do you work all eight hours when you are at your job? Chances are you don't. Chances are you spend a lot of time on the phone, checking email, checking social media updates, shuffling paperwork, reading unrelated stuff, talking about unrelated stuff, and other activities. All these add up to quite a bit of time. When you just zero in on the stuff that actually matters as far as your employer is concerned, you'd be lucky to get one hour of actual work done. Use this as a golden opportunity. Put in the work. Commit to more output. I'm not just talking about random output here. I'm talking about output that actually contributes a tremendous amount of value to your employer. Next, you should commit to pure work. In other words, cut down on the social media updates. Set aside the email time. Restrict unrelated activities to a bare minimum. If this isn't challenging enough, you should also commit to hitting quality guidelines. It's not enough that you are producing work at the right amount. You should also make sure that whatever work you produce meets the highest quality standard. Let me tell you, you would always have this opportunity if you work for other people for a living. Every single hour you are at your job is an opportunity to do this. The good news is, if you consciously work to build up your discipline by committing to hitting high quality guidelines and producing a lot more output, you stand to benefit in more immediate terms. Not only does committing to more productive work help you become a more disciplined person, but it can actually help you get promoted more. It can also help you to get paid more. Stick to a regular meal schedule. Believe it or not, even the simple act of eating can build discipline. How? Well, if you're like most people, you probably have shifting schedules as far as your meals go. Sometimes you get so busy in the morning that you skip a meal. Sometimes things pop in the middle of the day and you have lunch at weird hours. By deciding to stick to regular meal schedules, you actually build up your personal discipline level. The secret here is not just setting up a schedule. The secret is setting up the consequences of missing your schedule. I am, of course, talking about refusing to eat if you miss your scheduled mealtime. If you set things up this way, then there is a consequence to your action. This sets you up for meeting your regular meal schedules because you have an incentive to do so. This goes a long way in pushing you to eat at regular times during the day. Your mind becomes more disciplined and, most importantly, your body becomes more disciplined. Don't be surprised if you regulate your weight more effectively just by simply sticking to regular meal schedules and refusing to eat if you miss your meal times. Give yourself consequences. The big challenge in building personal discipline is the fact that a lot of people look at this whole project as something that would be nice if it happened. In other words, they're setting it up as an option. It is not an option. You're actually engaged in the most important things you could ever do with your life. Like I described in an earlier video, it has a profound impact in many areas of your life. It also applies across the board. 
Unfortunately, if you were to view this as something that would be nice if it happened, you don't really set up any negative consequences for yourself. If you don't show up to work on time, that's just another blown schedule. If you don't eat a meal on time, welcome to the club. You have to get out of those mindsets. You have to instead give yourself consequences if you drop the ball. For example, if you did not stick to your regular meal schedules, you could skip your meal. If you spend money in an unscheduled way, you reduce your budget. There has to be some sort of negative consequences for your failure to act in a disciplined way. Unfortunately, nobody is going to step in and do this for you. You're going to have to do this yourself. Remember, baby steps are still steps forward. I know that the steps above can be a tall order for most people. Believe me, I understand. This is why you shouldn't beat yourself up too badly if you stumble and fail. Keep in mind that even if you're just making small steps forward and you're able to get things done from time to time, you're still making progress. After all, baby steps are still steps forward. At the very least, you're getting adjusted to the idea that you have to behave in a more disciplined way. You only need to compare your mindset now with what it was before for you to see that this is a good thing. So don't worry too much about any big improvements that you may have failed to achieve. Focus instead on the fact that you're making small changes, no matter their size. If you keep repeating them and you keep pushing, they can eventually take you to where you want to go. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.